Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Snook with section 5.2, Direct Variation. And our objective today is to write and graph what's called the direct variation. So first of all, what is a direct variation? So a direct variation is a relationship that can be represented by a function in the form of y equals kx, where k is called the constant of variation. And that's probably the biggest um, key for today is this idea of y equals kx would be a direct variation. But if I said y equals kx plus 5, that would not be. So some number times x is a yes, but if I start adding or subtracting things, then that's a no for direct variation. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit. Um, does each equation represent a direct variation? If so, identify the constant of variation. So what you have to do, because I want y equals kx, is I have to solve for y. So on this first one, I'm going to divide both, both sides by 7, and I get y equals 2 over 7 times x. So that is a direct variation, and my constant of variation is the fraction 2 over 7. Now let's look at example 2. Again, I need to solve for y, so I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. And so I get y equals negative 4x plus 8. 3y is negative 4x plus 8. And then I need to divide uh, both sides by 3. So y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 8 thirds. And that plus 8 thirds on the end, that means you do not have a direct variation. And so then there is no constant of variation. All right, now we're going to write a direct variation equation. So suppose y varies directly with x. So when I see that, I know right away I'm going to have a y equals kx situation. And y equals 35 when x equals 5. So this means that 35 is going to be k times 5. So I can solve for k. Just divide both sides by 5. And I get 7 equals k. So my constant of variation is 7. So what's the equation that directly relates x and y? That would be y equals 7x. That's my equation. And then it says, what is the value of y when x equals 9? So now I'm just going to put 9 in for x. So y equals 7 times 9, y equals 63. So there's our two answers. Our equation is y equals 7x and then y equals 63 when x equals 9. We're going to do the same thing. Um, y varies directly with x. So y equals kx. And I want you to pause the video right here and see if you can figure out what k equals. OK, so hopefully you said that y equals 10 and then k times negative 2, and then when you um, solve for k, you get k equals negative 5. So then your equation should be y equals negative 5x. And then find the value when uh, x equals negative 5. I'm going to say okay, y equals negative 5. Did I say negative 5 earlier? Negative 15. Now you're just going to multiply um, 5 times negative 15, and you should get 75. 
So here's your two answers that I hope you got. Now we're going to start graphing these. And as you may remember, I do have a background from NASA, so of course I have to grab a space problem. So what this is telling us is that weight on Mars varies directly with weight on X, um, weight on Earth, which is X. So Mars is the weight on, um, Y is the weight on Mars, and then X is your weight on Earth. And then what they did is they sent the Phoenix Mars lander to Mars, and they actually had it um, measure weight on Mars, and it already had the weight on Earth. And on Earth, it measured 130 pounds, but on Mars, it measured 50 pounds. So with that information, let's find the equation for the direct variation. I know that y equals kx, y is the weight on Mars, so 50 equals k times 130. So divide both sides by 130. I'm going to get k equals 50 over 130. Please reduce this fraction. And when you reduce it, you'll get 5 over 13. So our equation is y equals 5 over 13 x. And then we're going to graph it. Now for direct variation, you don't have anything added or subtracted on the end. So if I imagine this as y equals 5 over 13, if I do a plus 0 there, that would tell me that when um, x equals 0, y equals 0, and I'm not adding or subtracting, so I'm not going to go up or down the axis. I'm just going to put a point right there at the origin. And pretend that you're 5 over 13, that's a slope. So I'm going to count up by 5 and over 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to go over 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's my two points that I need to graph the line. Oops, mess. Let's try that one again. So there's my graph. And here's a bit of a summary of the way the graphing works. So when you do a direct variation, your line has to go through the origin. So it's got to go through the origin. If you check both of these, it goes through the origin. And then you have to use k as your slope. And if k is greater than 0, it's going uphill. And if k is less than 0, it goes downhill. So these are what your graphs of direct variation should look like through the origin. And then it's either going to go uphill or downhill depending on the k. And use that information um, from the k to figure out exactly how steep your line is going to be. Part 4, this is where we're going to use a table and we're going to decide if y is uh, directly uh, varying with x. And then if so, we're going to write an equation for the direct variation. And as always, if we have a direct variation, then we should be able to say y equals kx. And that means if I divide both sides by x, then k is going to be y over x. So what I can do is check each pair of um, coordinates. So each ordered pair, I can check that and see if I get the same k. So with that in mind, since k is going to be y over x, I check my first ordered pair, k equals 6 over 4. Please reduce that. You get 3 over 2. So that's our first row. Second row is 8 and 12. So k equals 8 over, sorry, backwards, 12 over 8, 12 over 8, put y over x, which gives me a 3 over 2. Third row, 
is 10 and 15. So 15 over 10 gives me 3 over 2. So each time I got the same k, so that means that the equation for this graph would be y equals 3 halves x, and my constant of variation is 3 over 2. Now let's look at example 7, and we're just going to play the same game. k equals y over x, and let's check each um, set of order pairs. So first row, k equals 3.2 over negative 2. I get negative 1.6. Second row, k equals 2.4 over 1, and I get 2.4. That's not the same. So you can just stop right here and say this is not a direct variation. Because those two are not the same. If they had been the same, then I would have to keep going just to make sure that the third set was also the same. All right, that's it for today's video, everybody. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.